Law experts presenting on the latest developments around the country's social security net. They say social grants are a key pillar of society as they ensure that millions of citizens don't go hungry. We have 17 million grant recipients. The amounts are not high. It's not like the, the dole in the United Kingdom. And I think in the absence of social assistance grants, uh, which, is, which is a controversial topic on its own, uh, given the amount of money that the country spends on grants, but I think the, the evidence suggests that in the absence of those grants, the situation would have been far worse. But there's growing concern about those falling outside the social security net. The challenge that we have is that there are a number of working age people who don't qualify for a social assistance grant, but they're also excluded from social insurance schemes because they're unable to contribute because they're unemployed. Most of our social insurance schemes are contributory in nature. Now, if you have never had a job, you're a school leaver, or you've been unemployed for such a long period of time, you don't qualify for any benefits from the unemployment insurance fund or another fund and you also don't qualify for a social assistance grant until you turn 60 if you're vulnerable. So I think that's the, the sort of uh, hole in the social safety net. Retrenchments are also exacerbating the situation. There's a report that suggests that there's going to be an additional million people by the end of 2018 that are, that are unemployed. But this is not a new phenomenon in the country. Uh, a few years ago, uh, there was a very innovative scheme involving uh, multiple agencies, They're funded by the, the UIF, involving the, the National Skills Fund. Um, it's called the Training Layoff Scheme, to try to just halt the, the adverse effects of, of retrenchment. The experts say government has to improve and continuously update the country's social security programs in order to cater for changing socio-economic developments. Bongani Mochua, SAPC News, Johannesburg.